two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. <laughs> 